This is a 1988 box, uh, pack box, 36 packs of first series. I believe there were three series when they did these uh, Topps Big Cards. Now these Topps Big Cards are, I believe, the same size as 1989 Bowman cards. And I'm going to show you when you open this thing up, I'm going to show you exactly what to look for with this. Now remember, this is 1988, so they uh, it was 22 years ago, so they didn't have the, the same technologies that we have today. And you see, right when you open it up, there's a piece of cardboard. So if you don't see that piece of cardboard in there, you know somebody's already been into this box. Garbage. Now, right when I see these packs right off the bat, I notice something that really worries me, and that's the, the cellophane that's used to wrap these cards. Not only is that wrapped extremely crooked, you can see the slant on the corner here where the cards have slid over time, but you can also see some wear marks from the blue ink here on the uh, from the wrapper. I opened a box of uh, Topps Minis. I don't, I don't remember what year it was, but they were wrapped in the same blue dyed cellophane and every card in the box had blue dye on the corner and you can already see on the back of this card that there's uh, thank, thank God it's the uh, garbage order card but there's blue ink on the back which tells me that there is transfer so that's not good now as soon as I get rid of the garbage card I'm looking at the edges here and I can see there's some bends on the corner but I do believe this is the only way you're ever going to get a hold of any Topps Big Cards is through these boxes. I can see on this lower corner that there's uh, the first two cards have pretty good, pretty significant dings on them. Uh, the next two are not quite as bad, and the two after that are decent. And then the back one has obviously been pretty good because it was on the back with the pressure. <clears throat> it appears that there's seven cards per pack. Being 1988, yes. That is the current manager of the Chicago White Sox, Ozzy Guillen, back in, I'm, I'm sure the photo was taken in 1987. Robbie Thompson, Jeff M Musselman or Musselman, Kevin Bass, Mike Schmidt, Nolan Ryan, of course I would get a Nolan Ryan in the pack, at least it's one of the decent shaped cards, and Juan Samuel uh, was the manager of the Orioles, the acting manager for the Orioles, up until a couple of days ago when they hired Dave Tremblay, I believe. Now, as far as the, the backs of these cards are not glossy, so they're basically like a paper. And that blue ink transfer looks like it did transfer to the front card, the, the Samwell card, which was actually the back card. And just a tiny bit on the Guillen card, which was the top card. So the two, the top and the bottom cards look like they got some blue transfer, but the ones in the middle don't look like they did. So we may be able to get away with, uh, what's 36 times 7, 210. 252, 252 cards in this box, um, about, uh, and if we have to give up two cards per pack, that'll just make it five times, five times 36, so it, uh, wow, every one of those cards is dinged right there across the top, so those aren't going to really do any good, or I'll, I mean, if all these cards are going to be like this, and I do decide to sell them, uh, I'll probably end up getting a second box just to see. I'll get it from somewhere else to make sure um, if all these cards are going to come like this. I've got a second Mike Schmidt here. Let's see if it's the same photo. Yep, it's the same photo. So. I'll get another box of these to make sure. Uh, if every box is going to be like this, I'm not positive, but if they all are, then on the if I do another video of it, you'll you'll know that they're all going to be that way. But I'm not sure how much I paid for it. It wasn't maybe five dollars or something. It wasn't any. It was between zero and ten dollars. It wasn't very much money for this whole box, and for the chance to pull some good cards that might be in great condition, uh, cards of good players or something like Nolan Ryan or the Mike Schmidt Hall of Famers. Um, Jerry Mumphrey, Gerald Perry, Eric Davis, Mike Schmidt again, Teddy Higuera, Stan Jefferson, and Kent Herbick, legendary Twins player. Let's see what we got on this one here. Bobby Bonilla has got two good sized dings in the bottom of it, so this box wasn't treated very well. 
uh, before I'm getting a hold of it and actually opening it now. I've actually been holding it for a while just because I didn't really have the the desire to open cards that I knew were gigantic and I didn't have sleeves for. Uh, after quickly glancing at all these cards, I can see that the the top top to bottom these things are miscut pretty badly because the the, rec the blue rectangle on the square of the photo should be used as your centering point and you can see right here on the edge where the name or right here that there's a really small distance here and a gigantic distance up here so these are all I'm not gonna go ahead and read the players anymore it's we all know who was in 1988 and 1987 back in the Typically, back in this, back in the day of these cards, if it was a 1988 card, chances are the photo was taken in 1987 at some point. Um, again, I see, there's my buddy Trammell, legendary Alan Trammell, legendary Detroit Tiger, and most people don't even know who else he is, or most other people don't really aren't really familiar with him. But he was my favorite player, and I believe I don't even have that card actually. But again, as I open this pack, I can see that they're horribly miscut. In my opinion, they're horribly miscut. And every one of them on the bottom here has a ding. So it, these cards were treated pretty badly. I'm not really too thrilled about opening the whole box. I already, I already have seen enough. I've already seen enough to be able to to not recommend them. Now, if I were to get another box again, horribly off cut, and again, dings right in the same spot. It may not happen on the same spot on every pack, but it appears that every one of these cards has the same ding. So it could have been from the machine, or it could have been from somebody mistreating the box. But as far as I can tell, these cards don't look like anything I'm going to want to have in the store, unless I can find some more of them that are in better shape than this. Uh, but I'm not going to waste my time opening 36 packs of something that I know I can see now isn't going to isn't going to be anything that I'm interested in, so I'll put these plastic packs back on top here. I'll keep the little order cards. No, I'll throw them away because they got they got ink all over them, so I'll toss them. All right, that's 1988. Tops big. Uh, uh, it's not wax pack. It's cello pack box. Uh, but I believe that's the only way that they came. And if, like I said, if I find another box where I think the condition is better, I'll do another video for it and update everybody and let them know it's the second video. Hope this is uh, entertaining, at least for the people in my era. Uh, might be entertaining mildly to the people that collect cards today, but it's nowhere near as exciting as opening a pack of 2010, uh, being that there's a whole bunch of better inserts. But there it is, 1988 Tops Big. See you guys.